going on people I am finally back game four and I'm going up against national powerhouse in reality Don Bosco prep high school it's a school in North Jersey once again where I'm from and um, I'm gonna give you guys a little a little walk down memory lane about Don Bosco prep high school um, at least while I was in high school so this is dating back to uh, I want to say the year mm, 2000 2000 and um, I honestly even back then they were a freaking powerhouse like shutting teams down and all of that I tried to recreate this you know the way you can create your teams the uh, the teams you play against in Road to Glory and I put them at uh you know the highest rates that they could go on offense and defense because it truly matched the nature of their game so me running this touchdown right here would not have happened actually it never happened but anyway like I do in the other previous games I'm gonna do it in this game too there are some mega stars that I played against um, on that Don Bosco team one NFL player and several D1 college players uh, I don't remember any alignment but First, I'm going to start off with Ryan Grant. Ryan Grant, the running back now for the Green Bay Packers. Played for Don Bosco Prep High School. And when I say this dude, uh, he was the best running back I've seen in high school that I can remember right now. I, it's like, seriously, almost every time he touched the ball he either scored or he was off to the races for 40 yards until a safety would just catch him down the field and he was he was fast but he had power like you just could not bring this dude down it, he, he was a he was a, a load he wasn't big he was like he was average size running back for uh he was he was like a college size running back put it like that and he dominated and for me to see him go from Notre Dame to not even being drafted, he was picked up by the Giants in free agency, and the Giants let him go. And uh, the Green Bay Packers picked him up, and they have been loving it ever since. It never surprised me. Never surprised me. I've seen this dude play, and I'm like, he's definitely going to the NFL. I mean, you could not stop him. And they played against top competition all the time. And he put up nut he put that high school on the map. I, I don't think that Don Bosco Prep will be Don Bosco Prep without uh Ryan Grant's contributions to that school. Also, when he was a senior, I was a sophomore, there was a freshman on the team, Dorian Bryant. He was their wide receiver slash he was like their Percy Harvin. He would run the ball. He would do all that as I get a big hit. I finish that tackle off. Um, He's like the Percy Harvin. He did end, ends arounds, screens. You throw it to him downfield. You know, he was a scoring machine. And quite possibly one of the fastest dudes I've ever played against. Probably one of the fastest dudes I've ever played against. Not fastest dudes I've ever run with, but played against as I get burnt on this play right here. Um... He was a 4-2 speed guy as a freshman in high school. And I remember I, I started to look like I'm like, this guy can't boo yeah. This guy can't be that fast. Let me look into his grammar school stuff. And he ran grammar school, he ran track for middle school, um uh nationals. And in the eighth grade, I think he ran a hundred a hundred yard what is a hundred meters. He will run that in I think uh, what was his time? Like a 10-4? Which is retarded for an 8th grader. That is beyond retarded. Anyway, he went to play for Purdue, the Boilermakers, as a wide receiver. And he did his thing there. It's just that it's unfortunate that he was so small that, you know, he couldn't go to the NFL. He, was, he wasn't he was big. You know, he was he was a little on a uh, you know, shorter side. So it's a little harder to get picked up that way. You have to be exceptional. And in Purdue, he was exceptional, but I guess not exceptional enough. Let's go to another one that I played against. Mike Till also played for um, Don Bosco Prep. He ended up going to start as a quarterback for Rutgers University. I think he started all four years. And he was a part of that Rutgers team when they 
when they won, I think about ten games. He was he when Rutgers was good them past few years. Mike Till was the quarterback along with Ray Rice. Did you see that spin right there? Did you see that? Look at this here. Hold up. Let me get back to Mike Till in a second. Look at this. Got the Wildcat play. I see a couple of defenders. Mm, get up off of me. And then they just so happen to gang tackle me. That's cool. That's what's up. And a score like this would never happen to Don Bosco. Um, but yeah, he, he was a pretty good quarterback. You know, and uh, he started those four years at Rutgers when Rutgers were good. You know, when they had the McCourty brothers at, um, in the defensive secondary. They had Kenny Britt, uh, who's also from New Jersey. The McCourty brothers are from New Jersey. Uh, Ray Rice, who's from West New York, and I believe that that's up in Jersey. It says West New York, but it's still Jersey. Uh, Hudson County, I believe. So, Mike Till was the starting quarterback for that team. Damn, this game ended already? Fudge. Um, also, Brian Toll, who I spoke about briefly in the introduction to Road to Glory. He uh, also played for them. Um, after Ryan Grant left, um, Brian, it's either Brian Toll or Greg Toll. One of them damn Tolls. I think it's Brian Toll. He is Brian Toll. Greg Toll was his older brother. Um, but yeah, Brian Toll, he was the running back slash linebacker and all of that. He was dominant at running back. Kind of like the way I said that Gerald Hayes was for us. He was the exact same way. And just a straight up biblified beast at linebacker. He went he went on to play for uh what's the name of that darn school? Boston College. And he had an unfortunate accident, I believe, going into his senior year, so that's the only thing that held him back from uh going to the NFL because he received a lot of, you know, conference award like you know defensive conference first team awards and all of that stuff you know he was he was really good Don Bosco prep is just a, a nightmare team man I, look those guys up anybody don't believe them them dudes have been nationally ranked for years and when I played against those guys they whooped our ass straight up I ain't gonna even hold it up they just straight whooped our ass when I was you know when I was running with uh you know this high school hair tech we scrimmaged them. They ran a mud hole through us. And then um, this was back during my sophomore year. So they, they allowed me to play uh, the JV game too. And I believe we tied them 14-14. And that was when they had Mike Till. Mike Till is, uh, I believe, the same grade as me or the same age as me. So he was in that JV game too. And, um, you know, we tied against them 14-14. You know, they were pretty good, but... That's Don Bosco Prep right there in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed. I got to cut this thing short. I'll catch you on the next one, part five. I don't know who I'm playing, though.